the at sign in Spanish. I'm going to show you in this video a really cool insight into how the locals in Spain and Latin America use this in a, in a fun way over text, over messaging. OK, so the at sign. First off, in Spanish, the at sign is translated as arroba. That's the word for at sign. So arroba. The double R here, tricky to pronounce, but just go for it. Arroba. So if someone's if someone's asking you for your Instagram account, you're going to say arroba at chat Spanish or whatever it is. So it's a useful one to know. Now, the trick, the special way of using this. Are you ready? So when I was living in Spain a while ago, I was on a group chat and someone, I think it was my friend Carlos, actually, who put this message in and he started with, with this. Hola a todo this thing. I was like, what the hell? Why are you using the at sign there? I've never, ever seen that before. And I understood that it means hola a todos, right? That's a, a usual introduction in, in Spanish. I use that for my podcast. Hello, everyone. But I really, really didn't understand why the at sign was used there. So I asked him. And he said, OK, well, just take a look at it here. What does it look like? I still didn't have any idea. I was like, it's just an at sign deal. It's just an at sign, mate. And he said, OK, well, this looks like an O. And then the A is a bit more obvious in the middle. So when you use the at sign, I don't know why we had that transition with the slide. But anyway, uh, unexpected. When you use the at sign, it is an O around the outside and it's an A. OK, that's what it means when you write it in in todos here, for example. So when he used it, the at sign, arroba, it meant todos and it also meant todas. OK, so this basically is the same word, but this is the O for masculine and this is the A for feminine. So when you're using the at sign in a word like todos or todas, it's basically addressing the masculine and the feminine, the men and the women at the same time. So remember in Spanish, it's interesting if you have a group of a thousand women and you have one men in that WhatsApp group as well, you're going to have to use todos, hola todos usually to address them just because there's one man. That's the rule. Whereas if it was a group of a thousand women only, you would say hola a todas, chicas, the feminine, the females. And so when they have todas here with the and todos with the at sign, it covers both of them men and women so i think it's quite a nice a nice thing and just remember this is only over text or email only written down because you can't pronounce that in in real life okay so that's a super cool trick for you guys to use makes you seem really really native and know what you're doing and and quite down with the locals and some other examples here chicos chicas um you know muchachos muchachas it's quite a fun one to say that's more in Latin America and that's just young, young, the young person, young people. And again, because there's a, uh, an O or an A, you can substitute that with the at sign and just make it a bit more, a bit more inclusive for everyone. So that is the top tip for you guys. So I'm hoping you're going to be using that um, going forward, messaging groups of Spanish speakers and they'll be like, oh, whoa, how do you know that? So. That's a nice one that I wanted to share with everyone. So I hope you like that video. Please do subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment below, ask me any questions, share some more examples of where you've seen this. I have got another video directly for you guys, as you can see. Um, the arroba word has a double R in it. I've just dropped a video on double letters in Spanish. So uh, do check that out. It will help you. I'm going to show you a tip to help you always remember which letters are doubled in Spanish. So keep practicing. Hope to see you soon. Ciao. Un abrazo.